My dearest Romeo, I don't know if it's safe to show my face because of the liberal media uh, and your inbox is full. This is the only way I could think to reach you. I'll make it brief, but after reviewing what you want in a woman, here are my top 10 reasons why I think we are compatible. Number 10, no fat chicks. I think that fat chicks are the single most cause of global warming. Their unwashed skin folds create noxious gases that cause a drug-like reaction amongst the populace, which, which fools people into doing things like voting for Obama. Number 10, no kids. No, duh. The only thing I would ever want to be impregnated with would be like a cute puppy. But I'd still probably abort it because there would be way too many questions. Which brings me to eight. No loose vaginas. Well, I once held a 20-pound kettlebell for 78 minutes using nothing but my labia majora. Number seven, no sluts. You want to go spelunking in this cave of wonders? Well, then you need to be seen cavorting with Jessica White while wearing a velvet paisley waistcoat, of which I have never encountered until now. Number six, no gamblers. Why would I waste time with five-card draw when I could be playing make my man 300 sandwiches until he marries me? <laughs> Number five, no tattoos. Although I do have a scar on my arm from falling while carrying my father on my back during a triathlon. You see, he couldn't perform in it because he broke his legs in a terrible NASCAR stands accident to brawl over God, which is his shorthand for Guinness on draft. Uh, number four, uh, brings me to loyalty because, you know, I am, I am super loyal. I mean, if you would need me to shout out to the world that you don't suffer from fetal alcohol syndrome, then I will do that because of loyalty. Number three, you have a high sex drive. Well, I have an abnormally well lubricated plumbing system and am a heavy sleeper. Help yourself. Number two, don't even get me started on black girls. I once had one snap her fingers at me for little to no reason. And those asses don't make me take this back to number one. I get you. Your anaconda don't want none of those fat buns, hun. <laughs> and the number one reason that I really think we should be together, well, it's kind of embarrassing. But we already have so much in common, you know what I mean? So, I hope you'll let me be your Juliet. And I hope that we can meet together in a tomb under the city where we can each end our lives just to prove that we're not like our parents. All right, Romeo. I hope to hear from you soon. Love your Juliet.